Hey, coach. Welcome back to the podcast. Welcome back to another another episode with my friend Andrew Casal from Valor Accounting Services. Andrew, how are you today, sir? I am very well. How are you doing, Leo? Very well. Are you uh, prepared for the uh, Christmas holidays? Oh, yeah. I can't wait. I can't wait for this week to be over. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Right. Um, if you're watching this podcast, then it is going to be pre-recorded because it's going to go out later. So we're recording it just before Christmas, a time of the year that is very busy for a lot of business owners. Um, but if this is the first time you're watching the podcast, make sure you go back and watch the previous ones we've done because this is going to make a lot more sense about what we're going to be talking about today. So if you have a look at the screen in front, our last episode, we talked about good record uh, keeping. Now, today we're going to talk about accounting software. So Andrew is obviously a specialist in this type of a uh, subject and topic. So Andrew, take it away to talk to us a little bit about how, why this is important for, for sports coaches. Yeah, no, thanks. So uh, I think what would be quite important is just to take a little bit of a step back and see the, the business journey so far. So if you're a sports coach, you know, looking back at the previous podcast, you've set up your um, business structure legally. So that's either setting up a limited company or registering for a uh, as a sole trader, self-employed. Mm -hmm. uh, you've then set up a suitable business bank account keeping everything separate and now and then you understand the importance of a good record keeping system yeah. now we're going to be talking about accounting software and why that's important so nice. what i want to do is i'm going to switch over to the um another slide mm -hmm. and we'll uh, talk about this so first of all i want to talk about just a common mis misconception with um with accounting accounting software a lot of business owners believe that accounting software is just for the accountant to do the year-end type things maybe a little bit of bookkeeping involved but that's that's not true technology has evolved so much that accounting software has become in an integral part of any business owner uh structure so even and it's not I'm I'm not blaming I you know what I can't blame business owners because only 60% of accountants are actually embracing the new type of accounting software which is cloud accounting mm -hmm. so it makes sense that a lot of business owners don't understand the importance of, of it in their business so that's the first thing now let's take it from you've you're a business now you've got you're using spreadsheets which is great and it's working for you. Mm -hmm. What I find is that there are generally three types of business owners that I come across. You've got the first one, which is quite a rare case where they're just unaware that there's a more efficient solution to keeping track of everything, sending invoices, paying their taxes. They're, yeah. they're just unaware that there's a system that can just do it a lot more efficiently. Mm -hmm. The, the next one is the business owner that realizes that they need to streamline their business and they look for solutions and they're a bit more proactive. Then you get the third one, which is they're just content with their spreadsheets and they're happy to just continue with that. Yeah. Now, what I, I think I want to focus on the third one a little bit uh, more because that's where if, for example, you've got a sports coach that is happy to keep track of everything on the spreadsheets, what I would say is ensure everything is correct, your formulas. I've had clients that have come to me who, who have kept their business records um, on spreadsheets and they think and everything is good, but the formulas just don't add up. You know, you've got loads of spreadsheets and you have to check everything that is correct. I've had clients who have um over calculated their their sales mm -hmm. so they've increased their sales because the formulas wasn't correct yeah. and they've underestimated their their expenses mm -hmm. and that does impact the amount of tax you pay and as well as a business owner you thinking that you're actually you know having lower expenses than your 
than you currently have or yeah. you're you know generating more or less sales so i've had clients like that so that's one thing i would say definitely double check mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. make sure that the paperwork are in, is in the correct you know files uploading your bank statements you've got to upload your bank statements on you know your your spreadsheets make sure it reconciles you know the amount of times i've had clients come to me that they would upload uh, they've uploaded their bank statements and it just doesn't you know the, the end balance of the previous upload doesn't match because they've had a few transactions which it happens you know so one thing i would say for those business owners who want to keep it with spreadsheets ensure that your system that you've got currently is you know it's it's watertight and another thing just lastly on that is audit the time it takes you to do all this stuff because yeah. ultimately you know as as a sports coach you probably don't want to be dealing with too much accounting stuff yeah. especially with spreadsheets you know i i love spreadsheets but at the same time i, I can get sick of them as well yeah. So yeah. I can only imagine what business owners um, would think. Okay, can my time be spent more effectively, yeah. you know, doing the thing I actually love, <laughs> more passionate about, rather than faffing about with spreadsheets? <laughs> yeah, 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 100%. Um, it's, it's a great conversation. And it's interesting because I, I know a lot of coaches that when I speak to them at the beginning, they're running everything through WhatsApp. Right, they're running the entire business because they they've got no idea. They they think when you when you run a sports training business that it's just about the coaching. All right. So I know a lot of coaches are gonna be watching this video and grabbing their head and saying, Wow, what is this? Um, so it's great we're having this conversation because it, it shows that as a coach, you need to develop your business skills as well and not just your coaching skills on the field. Yeah, one hundred percent, and and hopefully this podcast could shed some light on how having a good accounting software will will help your business, will free up time for you, and uh, so yeah, the second second part is streamline your record keeping, and you know when you do move on to accounting software, everything's together. You've got yeah. your bank accounts together. You may have a number of different bank accounts. Mm-hmm. You can have an accounting software which brings it all together sending invoices as a sports coach you might be sending invoices through microsoft word for example um, or you're using a software which is just dedicated to sending invoices well having a good accounting software you can do it straight from there yeah. if you've got cash accounts you, you know with a sports coach sometimes you do deal with cash there's there's in a good accounting software you have facility to account for cash transactions as well so that's something to to be aware of is making sure that your accounting software is good enough to streamline your record keeping and keeping everything in one place. Yeah. You know, not having separate files on your desktop for, you know, expenses, sales invoices It's all in one place. Yeah. So that's the second part. Mm-hmm. Now we move on to, OK, choosing the right accounting software how do you go about choosing it right so a good way to start is making sure that you have especially if you're starting out or you're growing have a cost effective way of obtaining this accounting software one that grows with you grows with the business so maybe starts with basic pricing and it may be something like sending x amount of sales invoices Mm -hmm. a, a month and x amount of transactions that you can have if you're a small business that might be good and then it'll be quite cost effective in that way yeah and also now as i said the the barrier to entry in terms of of having a accounting software is so low that you can even get for free Mm -hmm. now there is a way where for uk sports coaches to get free banking and free accounting software and we can actually include that in a later newsletter of mm-hmm. how to do it and more than happy as well to book a 30 minute call with myself mm-hmm. with any sports coach to to do that and uh, help facilitate that that process perfect and if you're if, thing, yeah. sorry to cut out if you haven't subscribed to the newsletter visit the description below and you can subscribe to the newsletter to to, to get what andrew is is about talking about 
Sorry, Andrew. No, no worries at all. Okay, the next one is good customer service. Of course you want, especially as you're starting out, you may not have the resources to hire a bookkeeper or an accountant. Mm -hmm. Ensure that the accounting software has good customer service that has sufficient training. And as I said, a lot of accounting software now helps with the onboarding side of things. So that's something that's very, very important. Of course, if you do have the resources for it, a good accountant and a bookkeeper would allow um, time to give training. So, for example, Leo, in your business, when you wanted to set up sales invoices yeah. or direct debit, we went through to it together. So you understood yeah. how to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it saved me a lot of time because uh, if you don't have this software, then you have to create the invoices yourself manually. Uh, whereas if you've got the software, it, it has templates that you can use to send out to, to your customers. Yeah. And so. uh, another thing as well is ensure that it's feature rich. And what I mean by that is, as what Leo's saying, does it send invoices? Are there integrations with third party software? Can it file your taxes for you? Can it do payroll? Because you want a account software which has room for growth, which is obviously the next point is if you are going to be hiring staff, you want a facility where you don't want to get another bit of software to do the payroll for you. Mm -hmm. You want it all in one. You want it all in one. And an expense management tool. You know, if you're, you know, a sports coach, you got receipts, you got purchases, you want to put it in one place where the accountant or bookkeeper or you as the business owner can review that. And that's called an expense management tool. And Leo, you, 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 you love that tool, right? You have that on your phone. You could upload receipts and, and things like that. It's, it's really, really easy to use. Yeah. It's my, uh, it's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You know, and, and as I said, know its limitations. If you do choose an accounting software, mm. know its limitations and, yeah understand where you as the business owner want to go yeah. uh and another thing as well speak to the software providers they're happy to help as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. fantastic yeah i just want to add as well that it's i mean the key the key points to this to this episode is basically being better organized right and the more organized you are with your with your business the more money essentially you'll you'll be able to make in the long term yeah. And you know what? That beautifully brings me on to my next point. If you've yeah. got an accounting software, an accounting system, which allows you to set up direct debit or a facility to pay online, you can then that that's a lot better for you as a sports coach, because that allows you better cash flow because mm -hmm. you're actually not having to chase um, clients for outstanding payments. It's done directly through the system helps you better with cash flow, then you can reinvest in the business or take money out of the business. So that's another important thing. So that organization really does come in to a more profitable business and a better business cash flow wise as well. Yeah. And, you know, this is something more for the next podcast, but just a little bit of a bit of a taste, shall we say, you know, producing quick reports of how your business is doing, you know, and having a accountant or bookkeeper who understands these reports can give specific tax guidance, even projections of your how your business will do in the next three, six months. And that's obviously something we do uh, with you, Leo. And, you know, you, you found that helpful as, you know, as a business owner yourself. Yeah, 100 percent, 100 percent. Yeah. Uh, so, Andrew, take, for a lot of coaches watching this, obviously, they're, they're those that don't understand a lot of about accounting and software, they might be watching this and thinking, wow, like I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit overwhelmed, but let's take two coaches. For example, you've got coach number one, who's doing everything manually off a spreadsheet. And then you've got coach number two, who's using an accounting software to, to run the business. Right. So what, uh, what are the benefits of coach number two using the software against number one who's doing everything manually? So coaches have a better understanding. Yeah. So, you know, as I mentioned before, it just frees up your time 
yeah. as a as a coach to do more of the activities that bring revenue to your business mm -hmm. and things that you actually find <laughs> more interesting to do than the accounting <laughs> side having a spreadsheet it's good it's you know a lot of business do that to start off with because that's all they know and and hopefully this podcast has given a little bit more education about that and you know that that's what i would say on that and in terms of the overwhelming feeling yeah i do get a lot of clients that come to me and they it's a whole new world for them but especially starting out it's a lot about education how it works but after a short period of time only a few weeks maybe once everything's on the accounting software it's just a massive you know peace of mind for them and then they can they know that everything is tracked everything is taken um you know is taken care of so yes that overwhelming feeling does start but it goes very very quickly and you're in a better place you are now than you were when you started with the spreadsheets perfect love that fantastic breakdown there and if you are watching okay uh, and you want to get in contact with andrew to, to to maybe learn more about accounting software or, or different softwares right in the description below uh, we'll put a, a contact info so we so the uh, coaches can reach out to you uh, with any questions about this type of topic. Brilliant. So I want to thank you again, Andrew, uh, for a, another great insight, another great episode, and I look forward to our next one. Brilliant. Thanks for having me, Leo. See you later.